at City Hall. Council members spent a good portion of today's regular meeting discussing the pros and cons of annexing two large plots of land in San Patricio County. The first one is a 5,700 acre parcel of land on the north side of Corpus Christi Bay, and the other one covers 1,500 acres next to the planned ExxonMobil plastics plant near Portland. Our Brian Burns live at City Hall tonight to tell us why some San Pat County residents showed up to express their opposition today. Brian? Well, Joe, we've got some actually some breaking news for you here. Just moments ago, City Council approved the annexation of the more than 7,000 acres of land in San Pat County with Michael Hunter, the only dissenting vote. Now, Mayor Joe McComb at the beginning of public comment today made some clarifying statements regarding the annexation, citing bills in the current session of the state legislature to limit annexation by cities. McComb says they move now to begin annexation right away. Facing the unexpected but critical possible deadline, the City of Corpus Christi decided to bring forth agenda items to begin annexation process. Uh, we believe we could move quickly, not just to protect the City of Corpus Christi, but also our neighboring cities. Our goal is to protect our area from this anti-city, anti-planning legislation. These agenda items do not necessarily mean that the actual annexation will occur, but they can result in the process that gets it started. What categories for the friends? Yes, I still need you, but for a moment as soon as I get done with this. Now, McComb also quoted San Patricio County Judge David Krebs, who says the county uh, would still be able to collect taxes from affected industries. The annexation would make it possible to provide services and utilities to existing and future industries in that industrial corridor. During public comment, more than a dozen San Patricio County residents and public officials protested this proposed annexation. I feel that the city of Corpus Christi is doing a disservice to the residents of San Pat County. The city of Portland is getting no tax from Vestalpini or Chenier or Exxon or all these other TIPCO and the other industries and all this other acreage that the city of Corpus Christi now wants to put under their annexation to get the taxes from. I believe, I recall, Mary Rhodes said this was not going to happen. Well, many of us over there think you all are over here just to take it. And that upsets a lot of us. To me, you all look like the mafia, like the Gambinis and the other mafias in New York City and Chicago. This is not that area. And I hope that you do reconsider. The proposed annexation is eroding the corporation's efforts to work with local communities. It's going to create doubt, division, and is detrimental to property values in San Patricio County as a whole. Item, then there can be some, if you've got certain questions that you'd like to get answered, there can be some dialogue in that period, in the public comment period. We're, we'll just simply be here to listen uh, because we're prohibited, and I guess you have that same now, if the annexation, as you heard just moments ago, the annexation proposal was in fact approved by City Council, and what happens now is City staff will come back with a service plan to provide infrastructure for that industrial corridor, and then they will uh, schedule two public hearings on the annexation. They hope to be done with the process sometime in May. Live from City Hall, Brian Burns, 3 News. Joe?